Hello, welcome and namaste. Today's class we are going to discuss about determinants and quantifiers, uh, which is in class 12, compulsory English in unit 3 in grammar section. So, in this chapter, we are going to discuss about uh, what are the determinants and quantifiers. Uh, how do we use uh, determinants and quantifiers, or what is a determiner? So, we are going to discuss about determinants and quantifiers. Determinants and quantifier are uh, words we use in front of noun. So, they come in front of noun to tell or to determine the quantity, specific quantity or to uh, specify the noun, particularly they specify the noun or thing. Like we use determinants to identify things. Look at here this book, my sister, here this and my are uh, determiners. And we use quantifiers to say how much or how many. For example, a few people, a lot of problems. So, a few people, a lot of problems. This shows how much or many in quantity. So, they are known as quantifiers because they tell some quantity, right? Look at uh, some of the examples uh, which are uh, given in your textbook. Okay, in number A, uh, observe the following examples is given there. Uh, people have unethical justifications for all their actions okay americans uh, throw away around 2.5 million plastics bottle every hour uh, look at here highlighted words like uh, each all of the none of a few the so these are uh, the is here determiner all of or none of is, so they are quantifiers let's go in detail about determiners first there are two types of determiners the first one is specific determiner and the second one is general determiner uh, the first specific determiners are uh, the definite article the or the possessive uh, determiners like my your his her its our their those and there are some demonstrative determiners as well they are these that those these so, we use a specific determiners when we believe the listener reader knows exactly what we are referring. For example, look at here. Can you pass me the salt, please? Here, the the is very particular, right? It's very specific. We are talking about the salt. You're not talking about anything, right? Thank you very much for your letter. Your is here, determiner. It's specific. Look at here. Your letter is specific. Whose quote is this? this quote you're talking about particular quote so it's called specific determiner and the other second type is general determiners like general determiners we use uh, when we are talking about things in general right so the listener and reader doesn't know what exactly we're talking about or what we are referring to for example uh, article a uh, and there are sometimes no determiner any other uh, or another so these are uh, general determiners right the most frequent uh, general determiner is the indefinite article, article R and N, uh, so used with uh, singular nouns, right. So we use no determiners with uh, plural nouns and uncountable nouns, it is a general rule of article, okay. Look at here, girls normally do better in schools than boys, this is also plural noun and milk is very good for you, it is uncountable noun, so we do not use any uh, determiner here, so no determiners, right. Let's move to the quantifiers. Okay, quantifiers are also um, uh, determiner which modify a noun to indicate its uh, quantity. The quantifiers are like any, all, many, much, most, some, a few, and a lot, a little, a large amount, none. See, so these all are quantifiers, right? but they are not cardinal number, right? They are not cardinal number one, two, three. So, uh, cardinal number detail exact number what how many so they answer how many but here quantifier they don't tell exact number so you cannot find exact number you cannot count exact number so in general they tell in some amount so that's why they are called uh, quantifier there are some uh, rules using determiners and quantifiers some of them can be used only with uh, countable nouns and some of them with uncountable nouns and while other can be used with either of them. So, uh, here we are going to um, uh, study a little bit about them and we can group them uh, according to their uses here. 
so we can use all some any or you know before a plural or countable noun or an uncountable noun for example can i have some chips please uh, most of the children start school at the age of five or we ate some bread and butter so these are some of the examples here uh, you uh, you can use uh, no uh, before a singular or plural plural uncountable noun or uh, countable or uncountable noun uh, which this is not, i think this is not in your textbook uh, okay there are no pictures there were no pictures on the party uh, look at here some any much and enough are used to refer a part of the item so this tell some part of the item this doesn't tell at whole for example uh, would you like some ice cream see this means it's a small part right wouldn't have much success it's also not all right it tells something some only i haven't seen enough evidence to convince me so here enough means not a complete evidence not a total not whole evidences or enough evidence it's little only maybe much versus many how do we use much and many right so let's discuss on much and many much and many are used to express that there is a large quantity of something right so they tell the quantity which is in large many is uh, is used with uh, countable nouns whereas much is used with uncountable noun look at here i don't have many cds in my collections so it's cds countable noun you can count uh, cds they don't have much money to buy a present it's uh, uncountable noun much money means here how much money cannot count it's a okay this is uncountable noun so we use uh, much with uh, uncountable nouns and many with countable noun with the word times uh, we use many times or more than a lot of times or a lot of times right it sometimes means a frequency or often so we don't use here uh, much time we use many times sometimes we can say a lot of times or lots of times also the another one which is a little bit confusing is uh, few versus little okay we use a few and a little to suggest a small quantity or not much of something so this tells uh, it, it means not a lot right not a lot a little a few a few is used with countable nouns it means some right it's not many and a little is used with uncountable noun it's also some but not so much so a little is used with uncountable a few is used with countable these things you have to remember okay uh, here are some examples there are only a few days left until the sign so it's countable noun i have a few crazy friends it's also a countable noun i would like a little milk for my coffee milk is uncountable noun and there is a little hope for finding your wallet it's abstract noun hope so it's uh, uncountable right so every uh, we use every to talk about collective things more than individually it means each or all uh, examples are here uh, i take a break every three hours or every artist is sensitive okay each uh, we use each uh, when referring to individual members of a group one at a time so uh, every is collective whereas it is it refers to a individual example each artist sees things differently so the soldiers each received a medal it's supposed to be medal the spelling is uh, error over there when we are deciding whether to write all or all of we can use all plus noun to talk about all the things or people in general or all of all of the all of my etc plus noun to talk about a specific thing or people look at here all plants need water so this is general thing all of the plant garden were burned so it means here each of the plant right we can also use all of plus object pronoun for example all of them were at the event and she invited all of us to dinner so we can use all of with object Uh, pronoun as well right Now, another one is we can use most plus noun to talk about all people or thing in general or most of the 
uh, or most of my or etc plus noun to talk about specific people or thing again here also most is used with general most of is used with uh, specific right most people trust science is uh, in general so most of the people at the club where underage is uh, very specific we can also use most of plus object pronoun as well so most of us uh, come from poor families or they arrested most of them right none of um, in formal style we use none of uh, with a singular verb when it is the subject however in informal speaking people often use plural verbs or none of that surprise me like that so we use none of with uh, uh, before the demonstrative this that or possessive my or your or uh, pronounce none of his old friends knew what had happened to him or it doesn't matter none of it was your fault using both with of that means both of right when both is used with uh, determiner both and both of can be used uh, like my see he the these these are the determiners we can use uh, both uh, look at the example both his parents are alive means uh, you can say uh, both his parents are alive or you can say both of his parents are alive okay so when both is used with an object pronoun is uh, like you ask them the preposition of is added before that pronoun uh, look at the example here the teacher is always looking at both of us right it's before the pronoun us so this job will be good for both of you so not both you we cannot use both you Right. both of them like the like this shop not both uh, them only before a noun with a determiner articles or demonstrative and possessive pronoun we use sum of if there is no determiner we use some very simple some of my friends live abroad not some my friends live abroad or I have bought some apples not I have brought some of apples so, some of is also used before a pronoun some of us want a new system so let's move to the exercises from the textbook okay number b complete the following sentences with much many few or little uh, i have done for you here you can go through them uh, i have already explained uh, how to use much and many few or little so you can go through the exercises okay you can do exercises by yourself as well uh, number c put each or every in the following sentences okay the party split into three factions each faction headed by a former prime minister so leap years occur every four years so in this way i have done the exercises you can go uh, through all those exercises here Number D, rewrite the following sentences using all of, most of, none of, both of, or some of. Okay, uh, the solution is given over here. Can go through all of them. Number E, choose the best word from the brackets to complete the sentences. Words are given there on the bracket. Okay, so you can choose the right answer. Okay, this is also done for you. You can go through all the exercises. I hope uh, it will be helpful to you. You have understood if you like the video. Okay, give me your like and you can share with your friends. And please do subscribe my channel, uh, which encourages me to do uh, other work as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends and students group.